So you want to buy a motorbike, or new boots, or a helmet, an anodized billet alloy gas cap. Most of us go online to research the product before we throw money at it. Here are some handy tips for how to research products online and get the information you really need. The important point, be sceptical. In the old days, motorbike journalists were critical and interested in the truth. Today, the vast majority of so-called reviews are just promotional tools for the manufacturer. An example, I googled for Honda CX500 reviews. Some online magazines just regurgitate the manufacturer's ads and call it a review. Other mags actually do ride the bike, but just rave about how wonderful it is. And watch for fake criticism, such as, At first we didn't like the suspension, but we adjusted the clickers and then it was amazing. Unfortunately, moto journalists are usually more interested in money than the truth. If a review isn't trying to be critical, it's usually just a big ad pretending to be a review. What about social media influencers? Again, be skeptical of YouTube channels and Facebook pages, <laughs> like mine, that do so-called reviews on motorbikes and dirt bike products. Look out for those useless video reviews where they just line up products on a counter and talk about them. Or unboxing a product. <laughs> Give me a break. What about those more detailed reviews where they actually test them? Well, usually the understanding is, I will give you free or discounted motorbike stuff if you just say nice things about it. So look out for social media influencers offering prizes and constantly referring you to their affiliate marketing links. Look, they might still be doing objective reviews, but things like this can be a warning sign that money is part of the equation, which could be making it harder for them to be critical. So how do you find honest reviews? Instead of just Googling reviews, try typing these terms with your search. Problems, known issues, long-term review. This search for Fox Instinct boots quickly reveals problems with breaking buckles and soles and heels falling off. You can also go onto various forums and Facebook pages and ask for people's experiences with a certain product or bike. Again, be skeptical. Just because one guy hates a particular brand or product does not mean it's bad. You are looking for a consistent theme. For example, when we first heard about straps coming off aero and Liat helmets due to rust, we had to Google around a lot to establish it was not just an isolated incident. What else? Be more skeptical as the brand gets bigger. Typically, a brand starts as a family business that is passionate about the product. As they grow, they are often bought out by bigger companies or in cases like Fox and Suomi, by huge investment companies. As they grow, quality can decrease as the emphasis on profit grows. This is often when production is moved to China too. An accountant for a major brand told us they more than double their profits by moving to factories in China and keep their retail prices the same. He said this is common practice across many brands. We recently looked at boots and came up with this list. Of course, Chinese production does not automatically mean crap quality, but it's certainly something to watch out for. Look for the tiny print on the outside of packaging or inside labels. Occasionally a brand will feature a feedback section on their official Facebook page. This can give an overall indication of the product quality and customer support. For example, Fly Racing does well with 4.8 out of 5. Thor runs a close second at 4.6. <laughs> and Fox is limping along with only 3.3 and quite a few unhappy customers. Do you have any further tips on how to research products? Any horror stories with poor quality or customer service? Let us know in the comments.